What it do, what it do, what's up guys? I'm back again with another one guys. This time I want to share with you guys the Russ Olin American Essence, two times the Ultra Cover Paint Plus Primer. This is for wood, metal, plastic, and more. Okay, buns to plastic, fast drying, indoor and outdoor paint. Guys, um, I did a test area of this stuff on my truck here just to see what it's going to look like. Uh, the color is a little loud to me, you know, I'm just trying out different colors. I'm saying it just a little bit, but I'm just doing little test spots, you know, no big deal. I ain't trying to um, make it look good. No, I'm just doing test areas here so you guys can see. My truck ain't even sanding it smooth. I just did a little about a foot test spot here. And what's the cure on? I sand it right back down and come up with another color. Let's try a different color. I'll probably go with the black. I might try some kind of blue out or whatever. But uh, anyway, this is Russ Olin American Essence. And this two times the Ultra Cover. This is paint and the primer. I right, see so a lot of people paint their cars with this stuff. All right. So uh, here, um, this color here is kind of, this is cranberry. As you guys can see the top right there, this is cranberry. Picked it up at Walmart for right at four bucks a can. The cranberry color gloss. And I did this test part. Uh, so I want to do a little review on it. I'll show you guys how it turned out. Now I just did a little test area. Now like I said my truck ain't even sanded it smooth. Or nothing. I just sanded it just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. So um, I can see about what it's going to look like. But remember like I said it ain't sanded it smooth. So I'm going to show you guys a little test area. So here we go. That's what it look like. A little test area, bring you guys in right there. It's over the fender, cut it from the anger. See, I sand that part down as you guys gonna see in the first video. <laughs> I'll give you guys a peep at the test area. It's too loud for me. I think I might go with a black or a blue. Trying to block this sun for you guys. Can't do it. There you go. Block the sun. As you can see, the test area. It's kind of bright light. See that, guys? Looks pretty good. But it's a little loud. You guys comment below. Let me know what you guys think on how it looks. Okay. Bring you guys in. Okay, son trying to cut me out of my anger. But there we go right there. See it good right there. And uh, I admit that these paints are actually better now. So you actually can paint a car with them, man. As long as you take your time and get the body sanded down smooth. Um, this Ross Olin will stay there for at least six or seven years. Easy. That's my take on it. Uh, come right up out of Walmart. Like I said, for four dollars a can, uh, it's two times the Ultra Cover. So it's got the paint plus the primer. That's just good. That's pretty good, right there. You can't beat that. So you once you paint it, you ain't got to worry about priming because the primer's in the paint. All right. So you guys get a good look. Now this way I looked at first though. Look here. That's how bad it looked. Now see that. <laughs> so I guess you can say anything you almost do to it is going to look better. You can see my reflection, but it's not smooth. See, your sander work is how your finish going to turn out, guys. <laughs> so you got to get it smooth. You got to get it smooth. Smooth as possible. If you want a slick finish, you got to get it smooth. But it looks good, man. It's just take another peep around, try to throw you guys all angles of it. It ain't smooth now because I didn't sand it but a few seconds. But you guys get a good look at it. See that? I sanded it for a few seconds and I got off of it. <laughs> guys want to do some test areas here. Kind of see what it's going to look like. I ain't 100% guarantee I'm going to go with this colors. I want it a little darker, I think, than that. But I want to give you guys kind of a shot. There you go. Trying to block the sun out of you guys' way. But you see it. 
It's the color of it, kind of it's a cranberry. Let's see what it like off from a distance. Okay, there you go. It's got a nice shine to it and everything. As you can see, it's got a wet shine. It's pretty. But it's a little loud, I think. <laughs> it's going to be fun. This is just fun, guys. This is really fun. I'll tell you, this is fun. But the hard part about this is trying to figure out the color. But uh, if it was a little darker, maybe they got some darker burgundies in the rust over them, two times the color, cover. And uh, we'll see. But check it out, though. It looks really good. Just a little loud, you know, I think. Uh, running with black wheels. I don't know how that loudness is going to look. As you can see in my first video where I sanded on the doors and stuff here. But it's got really, really on this side. Just this side. This side really got to be sanded really good. Because this side has clear on it. So all that clear got to come off there. So it's going to take a good two hours, two to three hours to really sand this side down real good. Because it's going to have to be cut. You might have to cut it with some 80 grit, 3M, 60 grit. Because you got to cut everything off this side so I can get it smooth. So it'll look good when I paint it. Whichever color I decide to run with, it'll look pretty good, man. So I might go with black, might go with blue, <laughs> might be dark, dark burgundy, whatever. If I can get up with a company, I would like to go with a dark burgundy. So it'll look really, really good. But uh, that's the theory of it, man. I just want to share it with you guys. I did it uh, two times the cover. And um, it's pretty good stuff, man. Uh, not bad at all. I had to share that with you guys. And uh, now, you know, don't be scared. If you got a car you want to paint and uh, you're on a budget, it works, man. Because um, to be honest, these paints are not as bad as they used. they better quality paint, spray paints out there now, as you can see. Uh, these are really good quality, man. See the color right here, guys? It's cranberry, as you can see. And this is a lot lighter from what I... I'm used to on this truck, so um, probably won't be going with this color here. That's for sure. But um, I'm gonna do it good. I'm gonna sand it down. It's gonna take me three, four hours to really sand this side down, get it real, real slick. And um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do it the best I can. I'm gonna do it really, really good, guys. I ain't gonna play with it. I'm gonna get it right. I'm definitely gonna get it right. You can count on that. So, uh, yeah, man, um, not bad. So, those of you wondering about this paint, it goes on really smooth. It's easy to use. You can use, you can buy one of those things, a little trickle thing that you fit over top of the can. You also can get that out of Walmart. Uh, but what I do, I just take my time and I paint one side at a time. You know, if I had to paint one side one day and the other side the next day, it don't bother me. Just take my time. Then I shoot my hood. Even I had to take the hood off and shoot it. And then I do my top, you know, whatever. I'm just take my time with it, you know. I ain't gonna try to rush through it or nothing like that. But I just want to kind of give you guys an idea of what what it's gonna look like, what the color is, and how it's gonna dry up, what kind of shine it's gonna have. As you can see, it got a typical shine. Um, after about 30 days, you can put you a light coat of carnauba wax or something on it, and that's typical shine, man. It's not bad at all for a spray can paint. Um. I would say these is pretty good quality right here, man. For four dollars a can, you probably can do this whole truck with about. I say you probably can get out about twelve cans. You know, probably run you about sixty dollars. You know, sometimes though, know, a lot of people know I got compressors and all that, but sometimes it's more convenient coming out of the can. The reason why I say that is because you can paint a section at a time. Uh, you might make a paint mistake you don't like because it'll dry quick you take a sandpaper sand it back out and hit it again right out of the can uh, it doesn't make a lot of noise depending on what neighborhood you in see if paint cans are quiet too i don't like a compressor you know come on and kind of stir the whole neighborhood you know so depending on where you at too 
Uh, the router can could be more convenient. Now this is what it looked like at first. So basically anything I look better than this. You know. Yeah. So <laughs> it ain't going to hurt it. That's for sure. It's going to look better than what it looked like before. No matter what I do to it. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed man. It's been a review of the Rust Solar American Essence. Two times the paint plus primer ultra cover. And you guys take care and stay tuned man for me doing this. I'm going to come back and test out the black. This is the cranberry color. And I'll test the black out in my next video. You guys take care and I'm out of here. Peace.